gold. Gear. The building materials. Training materials. All things that we are limited on. I am Dogbert. I have hoarded these materials. I have built the character. And together, we shall find out. Is this character worth it? Uh, hey everybody, Dog right here. For all up to a, a previous video I did uh, and worth it, uh, kind of worth building, was before I made the intro. This is going to be a part two for Jessica Jones. This is a character I think we are sleeping on. Everybody's talking about Young Avengers and talking about Squirrel Girl being good for Dark Dimension and of course the upcoming Scourge for Rogue. But nobody's really talking about Jessica Jones, except I am going to, because I think she is a phenomenal character that could be very important in both Dark Dimension, The Scourge, and just all around great. Even off of her team, I think she's a great plug-and-play character. So great that I've taken her from level 75 to level 80. I put her to gear 15. I am putting my resources where my mouth is. I'm going to show you to her in DD4. Specifically, I'm going to focus on node 12. I'm going to show that part of the video. I'll attach the rest of the video where you can see the entire city uh, lane with Jessica Jones on the team I'm going to be featuring. I'm going to disclose... Uh, there's some gear 16s on that team. Unfortunately, that's where I'm at with my account. So with all this said, let's take a look at Jessica Jones. I do recommend uh, Blue Eyes to level 3 Striker on her. Some people might be like Skirmisher because they don't know how to use... They don't know how this ultimate works. She clears all... Uh, you need to T4 to clear all positive effects from the primary and adjacent targets. Great for Dark Dimensions. Uh, if they're when they're nice and clumped together, I uh, could see that in scourges. Also in dark dimensions, like I think in Dark Dimension Five, if you know what I'm talking about, the uh, the wave on Node Two with like the Drax, the Adam Warlock, etc. You need to get past that Drax taunt. This could be incredibly helpful because she does clear it, and she gets a hundred thousand extra focus, meaning she is going to clear those taunts a hundred hundred thousand percent. I mean, her focus would then be absolutely ridiculous. I don't even want to... I mean, you're talking about adding zeros here. It would just be ridiculously high. The only T4 I don't have on her, and probably should, is for the extra 10% max health for self and A-Force allies. It also gets extra resistance for her self-defender and A-Force allies. Um, this would be a nice little luxury T4, and if you're using, of course, the A-Force or defenders, it would make them even stronger, too. But don't forget, this uh, passive doesn't just give it to A4, give things to A4. She does give 20% resistance to city allies, and other allies gain 15%. And she has a bonus for war. Of course, it's if you care about war, but we are focusing on like Dark Dimension for this video. Her big ability, which you absolutely do want to T for, is this one. Her special. You're going to be using this a lot. This is uh, where she is mainly used. Number one, you need to T4 it because it clears all negative effects from all allies regardless of their tag. Uh, getting a defense up to self and up to and up to three uh, A-Force allies. If you're not running for A-Force allies, she's going to get it, making her much more survivable. Plus, she's going to give herself immunity. But really, what you need out of this is to get clear all negative effects. Obviously, if you're running over the A-Force and you want the other effects. But the big thing about her isn't so much the fact that she's going to generate one ability energy for defender or a force ally it's the generate four ability energy for random allies making her into an energy battery giving your allies as you're going to see i'm going to run it running over with a uh, cloak and dagger better known as hoodie and dildo in there and imagine you know giving some after they've just used their ultimates getting them a little bit quicker so they get their ultimates back um i also run shang chi and ghost spider again uh, Ghost Spider with that ability block or that uh, uh, spreading debuffs along with uh, Hody and Dildo it comes from uh, great. The other part of what makes this so great is that she's going to bury herself for 20% of her max health. But she also buries other allies for 10% of the max health. This is just a little bit extra to help them survive. Uh, that can come in quite handy. I think she'd be a great DD5 candidate despite her cost, which I'll get into. 
And again, she's going to give herself defense up. I don't know if we have any other A-Force allies. Uh, she's going to do that as well, or and give immunity to herself and other A-Force allies. There is another member or two of on A-Force that might be useful in Dark Dimensions. That would be Spider-Woman, maybe even Nico. Because don't forget, Nico is a mystic, but she is also a city character. So you could pair up technically uh, Jessica Jones, Spider-Woman, A-Force into a Dark Dimension if you so desired. And her basic is actually quite good, too. Uh, you definitely want to get the T4 on here. Never mind the little bit extra damage. But what she also does is she generate. Well, the reason why you want the T4 is to generate one ability energy for a random defender, or a force out, or self that was not at full energy. This is great actually if you don't have the A force of defender because you want to get it back onto herself to get that ability energy back onto her. On top of that, she does say has a 50% chance then on the secondary attack, which she always does, because she's always going to do at least one, or possibly two, but each one of those, uh, the gener uh, again, generate ability energy for herself or a random ally. This could go to anybody. It's great if it goes to herself, because uh, you're guaranteed at least one from this, so this is only a four-turn cooldown. You now you do the, that special, I mean the basic, sorry, and you're essentially giving double energy. You can even get more, get this going even quicker, use it again, use the energy again. You get the idea. You get into the cycle of using the special and the basic a lot. You kind of hold off on the ultimate as much as you can until you really need it. Plus, it does good damage. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I think she is a phenomenal character. This is why I'm making this video. I want people to know about this. Maybe think about building her. I think I'd do it too. Of course, there is one major setback, and that is her cost. As you can see, one, two, three, four pieces of teal, not including this. So four pieces of teal, meaning she is going to be a 72 mini unique uh, character. That is a high price to pay. And she is bio, though, so um, I'm just going to say it. Web warriors in general suck in Dark Dimension. Except for Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider, uh, different story. The other problem with Jessica Jones, if you're bringing Shang-Chi, she uses the same mini unique as him, and if you want to bring Sabretooth into a global for like a DD5, or uh, again, same mini unique, that could be her really only downsides is her gearing the 72 uniques and sharing that mini unique, depending on how lucky you've been with the, the, the unique piece on them. So all this said, let's go and take a look at her inside DD4, note 12, of course, the most hardest one of all. Uh, let's see how that will end. Alright, to start off, I will preface this in case somebody doesn't watch the entire video at the end, which includes the first two notes. That I had to go through this quite off uh, a few times, where they just nuke somebody. This is note 12, and I had to quit the battle and come back in, because you, ne you need to get it to a point where, well... Everybody survives the initial barrage. We can also see the team, Shang-Chi and Ghost Spider are gear 16, level 85. Dildo, aka Dagger, is level 85 but gear 15. Uh, Cloak and Jessica Jones are gear 15, level 80. Just for a full disclosure. And this time I'm actually going to survive. Came down to cloak dodging and oh, never mind. This is the wrong one. I lost in that one. Sorry. Let me find the one where I live. They actually went after Jessica Jones, who has actually good survivability. Able to get the cloak ultimate off. Now Shang Chi is going to do a bunch of work for us. I'm not going to max some of that turn meter. But let's just do a bunch of damage. This is where you want Ghost Spider, is her ultimate. Anybody who didn't have blind is going to get blind. And here's where we need Jessica Jones. We're going to start right off with a special, even though we didn't have any negative buffs, because we want to get the barrier out on everybody, plus get the uh, ability energy going, because we have used uh, some ultimates already before her.
Ghost Spider is probably the only web warrior really worth breaking into Dark Dimensions. Shang-Chi is our main damage, of course. Cloak and Dagger are also phenomenal choices. They could be a, a uh, despite their high cost and mystic gear, well, it's actually mostly on um, Dagger, because she is a 72 mystic. Cloak is a 36. Uh, it might be worth it to bring it into Dark Dimension 5 for, uh, for the City Notes, because they are rough. And now a Cosmic Crucible, uh, making things a little bit more uh, attainable, it might be worth it. You can see once we survive, we're actually having no problems with this node now. And you can see some ability energy getting thrown out to Shang-Chi, and we saw some go to Dildo. Uh, just off of her basic, it's a random thing, but man, was it wor when it works, it's great. You can see we're taking out the first, uh, first wave, no problem. Here we're on to the second wave. Don't forget, after you kill three on here, you get the uh, Emma. There we go, we got some barrier again. Dildo getting her ultimate out. Shang-Chi doing his work. Doing a ton of damage. We don't really need to use another ultimate from Hoodie. Just need to get past those debuffs. We need to kill Rescue, because she will... Take away debuffs, but now we can put those blinds out to anybody who doesn't get didn't get one. Why you want Ghost Spider so badly? This time she gives herself energy. That would be good, because then we get you know, that means we're closer to getting that special off again to get more energy. That is what Jessica Jones's role is: be an energy battery, help us survive, clear negative effects. It's not to do damage. The fact that she does any damage is great. Now we have the Emma. We also got the Symbiote Spider-Man and uh, Scream. I don't have any uh, debuffs. I'm just going for the energy. So I'll cloak got some this time. You can see, it, yes, it's RNG, but it is a great RNG. Because you're always going to get at least some energy to Jessica Jones with that basic. If you get it to other allies, it's just, uh, you know, gravy on top. And you see we're getting into the second wave like no problem whatsoever with this team. That includes that Emma. We're not even worried about her. We actually got rid of negative effects, plus we got a couple energy over to Dildo. I saw that happen. And look at this. Look at that Emma. Not even a problem. Got rid of Emma. Final wave already. Just slicing through this once we got the RNG we needed on that first turn instead of getting blown away. So I just used the uh, ultimate there just because I could to do a bunch of damage to a bunch of people. I really like do like getting rid of Captain Marvel, but you had to deal with that Ms. Marvel taunt. My Shang Chi this does most of the damage. Already rid of Captain Marvel, rid of Black Panther. Just merely making no 12, which is still incredibly difficult, even with uh, maxed out symbiotes. A joke. Again, we got two energy there to Jessica. Didn't land the ability block there, but. Oh well, doesn't really matter as you'll see. We've got the special going again. Got some energy over to Ghost Spider, so if we wanted her ultimate to spread debuffs, we would have it again. We'd get it quicker. Now you can see I've just made a joke out of node 12. And that does it. So I'll put the rest of the video here. You can see the first two notes, plus you can see all the nice resets on Note 12 uh, for the rest of the video. But uh, pretty much don't sleep on Jessica Jones. You might want to build her up. She's definitely worth it. Until next time, everybody.